This is the story about how my cousin and I got lost while hiking in Tobomori. After a four hour car drive, we finally reached Tobomori. I have been living in Canada for 22 years and have never seen such beautiful clear water. We arrived around 9 a.m. and we were the first ones along the coastline. The only sound you could hear was the little ducks swimming and the waves gently crashing amongst the white rocks. Far in the distance, we saw a cliff with many trees and decided to venture out there to see the view from the top. We were pretty shy girls and decided not to ask for help to find the trail. We found out that we had to drive around to another area to climb that rocky hill in order to get to the top. We saw signs for two trails, one red and another blue. I remember that day being extremely hot and having to climb a rocky incline the whole journey. Now and then strangers would pass us by and I debated whether we should say hi or continue walking. As I mentioned before, we were pretty shy, so unless they said good morning to us, we would just pass them straight. While we were on our journey, Nellie, my cousin, looked at me and said, Are we going the right way? I said to her, Um, I think we lost where we were going about two kilometers ago. That was the last time I saw the red arrow. We both got distracted talking and we didn't realize that we had gone off our trail. We tried to figure it out by ourselves, but we were still lost. Eventually, hikers would pass us by and we were both too scared to ask them for any directions. Every time we saw someone pass by, we would say, No, you ask them, and go back and forth with each other. Finally, we both agreed to ask for help when we saw a friendly elderly couple hiking towards us. They told us to follow them and led us on the right trail to where we were going. Before we split paths, they waved goodbye and told us to enjoy the view from the top. We had about three kilometers to go before we reached the top. I remember the closer we got to the top, the rockier the incline. We finally reached our destination. As you can see, the view was breathtaking. Without asking for help, we wouldn't have made it to the top of the cliff. Well, maybe we would, but it would have taken us longer to get there. The hike taught us both to break out of our comfort zones. A hike we will never forget.